Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are trying the tomato crispy chicken mozzarella sandwich from Canada McDonald's. What he said. Two, tomato, mozzarella, crispy chicken sandwiches from the Canadian side of McDonald's. Just uh, just a little bit north of us. Acquired Jump Cot! The lunch rush drive through line was pretty bonkers, so we went inside. And, oh wow, this is just, oh, You look majestic right wow. now. Like just the hair. A majestic beast. Mm -hmm. All right, a little Corey Wagner, second angle on these babies. Not too long ago, maybe a couple weeks ago, whatever it was, we went to Spain, uh, menu-wise, and got that Mick Extreme, and boy was that a five out of oh, five. Oh man, that was tasty. Oh boy. Oh wow. Oh yeah. It's gonna be a good Christmas, kids. Mm -hmm. Daddy's gonna have presents for you. So some of you guys commented, we obviously had to do it. We came back for the next thing on the international menu that everybody can get. This is at your McDonald's, Canada. And go for it. All right, we got the same old uh, drunk pilot on the top end of that box. And if you open it up, we got a nice little bun there. Looks like some sauce. They tried to minimize it for us. They said they don't look like sauce guys. Let's give them a little patch, a quarter of it. Uh, lettuce isn't looking too bad. Oh, I didn't mention the onions. Looking a little whack, but I do like those types of onions. Um, the tomatoes are looking fresh to death. They're going to look fresh on the side of this box here because I'm not going to be eating those. That cheese is looking delish. Is that mozz? Yeah, yeah, tomato mozzarella, yeah. And then uh, this is looking like a crispy, crispy Sammy. And thank God they at least tried to make an effort to put an onion ring size amount of uh, sauce on the bottom as well. Yeah. This is a little bit more of a slacking McDonald's, I would say, than our last one seemed to really do it up. Yeah, they did. And this one seemed to be like, hey, lunch rush is here. We're not doing extra for you guys. I know. It did kind of feel like that. So that's a little bit yeah. of a bummer. If yeah. you're into bummers, you love I mean, that. Being in there, I felt like they were working hard. But now looking at it, I'm like. I know. Tomato and herb sauce. I was curious what the sauce was. Ooh. And this is Canadian grain-fed seasoned chicken. So tomato sauce, is that just what they call it in Canada where here we call it ketchup? <laughs> no, because this doesn't look like ketchup. Yeah, I hope to true. God that they wouldn't put ketchup on this sandwich. Yeah. Oh, that'd be rough. All right, thumbnail. Oh, you got the wrong thing. They gave me the wrong thing. God damn it. <laughs> Do we have to go? I guess we have to go in there. We're I'm just gonna I'll eat go, that. I'll go in there. Can I have the receipt, please? Yeah. McDonald's. This place is sucks, dude. Don't go to the Ashland one. Ashland. The other one we went just to north was of diversity. fantastic. Make sure you don't lose that. See you soon. Hey, you know, they were very nice about it. I don't know how this goes. <laughs> What's up, guys? Me in this door. I know this thing is very uh, finicky. You gotta be like, boom. Okay. Oh, the cheese isn't melted. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to defend you. Oh, we just tweeted at McDonald's how much we love them. Why are they doing this to us? All right, well, if you're a fan and have watched the show for a while, rough start uh, as far as how we're thinking about this going in. Maybe the taste will change it. All right, this is the tomato mozzarella crispy chicken uh, sandwich from Canada. Cheers. Cheers. Bro, that floppy, unmelted cheese, bro. The chicken's good. Yeah, this is a good tasting sandwich. Yeah, dude, that just looks like provolone they found on the floor. Look at how small my tomatoes are. Can I have your tomatoes? Yeah, dude. These herbs are really good, though. Yeah, great herbs. I like the uh, tomato herb sauce. I'm wondering what I'm tasting. Is it part of the sauce or part of the chicken? Might Does be. this chicken have special herbs? Let me do a no, it's, uh, no sauce. It bite. just said grain-fed chicken, so I don't know. Yeah, dude, and I'm not talking about the herb from the sauce. I'm talking about the herbs from the chicken are good. I did a, a solo. Yeah, I did a just chicken piece. No, because there's not much. My sauce was weak. That's They got lazy on your cheese. They got lazy on my sauce. I think one thing I would do if I were McDonald's, because their fries are so worldly loved, and they screwed up my order, mm -hmm. and I went in there, and I was very nice about it, and like said it was no problem. When I hand you the bag back, I throw a little small fry in there. Yeah. You know, like, it doesn't cost them really anything extra, and it makes me have a good taste in my mouth. Yeah, it costs no me pun nickel. intended. Yeah, I think that's what I would do. It's worth a nickel. I think so. To to have you open that and completely forget about all the wrongdoings and go, mm -hmm. oh, they put a fry, it's such a nice gesture. Right. I agree. I feel like Wendy's a lot of times will give you a little baby Frosty if they screw up your order. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. 
I don't expect things from restaurants. Like it's not like I was expecting that. I just think that'd be a really smart business move. Exactly. It's pretty good though. There's no wow factor. It's just like pretty good. I'm not a tomato guy, and maybe it's got too much tomato of a flavor. But when I eat it, I'm not going like, oh, that sauce is legit. Mm -hmm. I'm more like, oh, that's that's interesting. Right. Which isn't a bad thing either. Mm -hmm. I wish there were more onions on it. That's for sure. I do too. Also, like tomato herb sauce. That's not something you hear and go, oh man. One of my favorite condiments is tomato herb sauce. Like that's just not something that's spoken. Right. At least here. You know, I don't know a ton about Canada. Maybe they love it. Up there in the Great White North. I don't know. Yeah, no kidding. Canadian <clears throat> Sixers, do you guys you ever get this sandwich on the regular menu? Uh, somebody from Spain, the last time I asked, was like, do they really have this thing in Spain? And people are like, yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. So let us know in Canada if you ever get this and if you like it. Do they have, is tomato sauce a normal part of Canadian culture? Maybe. Maybe Canadians have a real love for herbs, too. Obsessed with herbs. And combining it with tomatoes. All right, before we rate that sandwich, would you like to do some shout outs? Yeah, you want to do shirt shout outs? Shirt shout outs, shirt shout outs, shirt shout outs. Out. People about stuff off the website shirts, koozies, stickers. Shirt shout out number one. This fine young human bought two shirts, and she's been a huge, a huge Patreon as well. I just want to point that out. Awesome. Miss Cindy Brown. Uh -huh. One of the most OGs of the OGs. She really is, dude. From back from Sean's old company and then yeah. Sean's old, old company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's been around, man. She's the queen bee. Dude, next person bought a tray. Tray. Of dude, this awesome human being bought an Eat It Bit shirt, a jump cut shirt, and a pocket shirt all in one order. Bro, Brad Ree. Thanks, Brad. And that wasn't me stumbling through Brad Lee. That's Brad Ree. Brad Rhea. Oh, Rhea? I have no idea. It's R-E-A. It's like okay. he started learning how to read and then dropped the D. Hopefully it's not actually pronounced Brad Ree because then it just sounds like somebody doing a bad Asian accent. Brad Ree. Brad Ree. You know? Yeah, it's so And that's does, just, you don't dude. need to stumble into any of that. You don't need stuff. to be doing that. You don't need to be. I hope Fort Worth, Texas is treating you well, Mr. Brad Rhea. If you want to get yourself some merch and maybe you want to purchase some stickers and a shirt and bump yourself up to that status, number six with cheese.com. Bump it up. All right. Let's get out of here, let's rate this thing and get on with our days because I think we all need to get back to work, you know? <laughs> uh, out of five unmelted pieces of cheese, how many unmelted pieces of cheese do you give the tomato mozzarella crispy chicken sandwich from Canada, Corey? Well, let's see. Um, it still had the chicken was my favorite part. Yeah. That chicken, whatever the herbs were, that chicken didn't taste like the usual chicken I got from McDonald's that may have been in my head. Um, it's different. But the chi the chicken is actually different it's, too? It's completely different. Okay, so I really, really liked the chicken. Mm -hmm. uh, the cheese kind of got lost in the sauce for me. Yeah. Uh, the sauce I didn't really care for. The onions were weak. And I don't really like tomatoes. Uh, and our whole experience was a little unpleasurable, which unfortunately factors in. Still wasn't bad. It was worse than average. Yeah. So I'm going to give that a 2.25. Mm, I yeah. probably wouldn't get it if I was a yeah. uh, layman. Right. But mm -hmm. You could. I think if on the show 2.5 is dead even, average piece of food, like not good or bad, just kind yeah. of right smack in the middle. Yep. And the whole time I was eating that, I was like, this is probably a 2.5. That's kind of what was kicking yeah. around in yeah. my mind. But just because of the experience I had, and I am somebody where if you if you give me kind of not as great of a food item, but I have the most amazing experience, the eating experience to me is what makes food in this country really cool. Well, Sean, I couldn't agree more with you. So so that brought it down a little bit from the 2.5. I'm going to give it a 2.4. That's 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 respectable. That's I don't know why I'm clapping. Excellent, excellent score. Yeah. Boo. <laughs> I mean, we still love McDonald's. It's just that was kind of a weird experience. Yeah. yeah. You get it. You've all been to a McDonald's been like, that was weird. You've been to every fast food place and been like, that wasn't the best experience. Yeah. So, you know, you take it with, for what it is. I will see you guys tomorrow for a brand new episode. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications for this channel. Do so it. that you get all of our videos right away. That's true. We love you guys so much. If you so want much. more of us, Make sure you check out the Unemployables pod. We're kicking those out every week, and it's a good deep dive into the psyches of Corey, Sean, and our buddy Zach O'Ryan. It's disturbing. Yeah. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.